Uh, this is my uh, impression of Mrs. Doubtfire uh, talking to uh, a, a firefighter uh, on a house phone. Ready? Hello? Come again? My what? My house is on fire? I doubt it. So, Tiff and I are leaving after my set for the Catskills. Nice. You're right, it's nice. In about an hour, I'm going to be on the SS Romance. Choo choo. You know you're 30 and you look at your pants, right? Uh, shut up. Jerk. So, uh, I was, um, uh, entering my bedroom with my significant other, uh, lady, uh, friend, uh, girlfriend, and she was like, uh, why are there so many pictures of Dana Carvey, uh, all over the, uh, bedroom wall? And I was like, well, baby, I thought you said that you needed more Garth in the bedroom. And that's when she turned to me and said, uh, no, I said, girth. Well, looks like someone's drinking margaritas alone. Well, uh, hey, do you know that remember that screenplay I was writing? Yeah. Well, I've got yeah. some. I've actually, I got some news. What? Um, what well, I emailed. Hold on a second. Dude, Dawn. I just killed. Good job. Awesome. My turn. Wish me luck. I'll see ya. <laughs> Good luck trying to follow that, buddy. Yeah, I got it. Remember that screenplay? I am coming up so quick in the comedy world. It's scary. All right, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is my friend Leopold. Leopold, uh, in the news. Uh, Bill Clinton's been in the news a lot. Uh, apparently, he was in the White House in the Oval Office with somebody named Monica Lewinsky. Uh, he had an inappropriate relationship. What do you think happened? I think he gave her wood. You, Leopold, that was inappropriate. Um, Leopold, how do you think, have you heard about this new thing called the internet? Leopold, say something. Why are you, why are you so quiet? You're like a block of wood on stage. Yo, what's up? I can't fucking take that kid anymore. Dude, did uh, you hear me on stage because I wrecked it? And Leopold, he did really good too. Right, Leopold? Fuck this. Dude. Leave a message. Hey, honey, it's me. I did really good on stage. I think um, I had my best set ever tonight. I'll, I'll probably see you in a little bit. Um, love you. Bye. Dude, dude, now. No, I have to do something. What happened? Dude, I, you know how he is. He probably tripped on a rock. Yeah, but he. I think he's dead. No, 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 no. If he's dead, you gotta help me get him out of here. I'm expecting a call from the lab factory, bro. I have things to do too. I have to take Leopold to the cobbler. To the cobbler? 
How is that more important than my Laugh Factory set, bro? Because he's a very busy cobbler and I have to schedule time with him. Alright, whatever. Listen, just please help me get this kid out of here. Count three. Come on, one, one, two, three. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, push him. Push him. Sing along, learn the song. There are rules to singing in the car. Pull over up here. Do you hear me? Yeah. Give me a minute. Leave a message. Hey Tiff. Um, I just uh, want to say I'll be home soon and uh, tell the kids I love them and uh, give them a big kiss for me. All right. Why'd you get those shovels so fast? I stole them. Careful, 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 careful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're an idiot. Where do you think we go when we die? We rot in the ground. I don't know. I think there's like a next level, like an eternal progression. <laughs> it's kind of rude. And why is your guess any better than mine? Because I don't believe in childish things. I'm going home. No, 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 no. What do you think you're going, buddy? You're in this with me. I'm anything with you. I'm just covering your mess. Whoa. It's a big world, Mark. Survival of the fittest, man. You know we're going to hell for this. Mark, 
hell doesn't exist? Kev Kevin, hey, Kevin. Dude. Hey, hey, Kevin. Kevin! Wish you really were dead. Wait a second. You said that was an accident. Oh no. He tried to kill me after I told my soul my script. You know it was mine! Kevin, is that true? Because you know I helped you with that script. I, I, you're at home with your family all the time, no! It's mine! No! I say it was mine! It wasn't mine. yours! It was, mine. it was my idea! Ah, I hate all you! I hate you! Oh, I hate you! I'll never... Hi, this is Tiffany. Leave a message. Hey, hon. Um, sorry I didn't come home last night. I... I just got buried. I guess. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that old man corn joke. <laughs> Did you write that in a cornfield, Nebraska? <laughs> You're such a loser, man. <laughs> oh, man. What a night. <laughs> oh, what a night. What are you going to do when you go back home? I'm going to go to bed because I'm exhausted. Digging a hole is a lot harder than I thought it was. I'm fixing the hole where the rain gets in. <laughs> is that one of the tracks that you skip over on Sgt. Pepper's? Half the time. I'm fixing it's the hole. It's actually a really good song, but I don't know, sometimes I just don't like the beginning. What track is that on? Where Sergeant it Pepper's. Goes. Is it, um... There's a couple of tracks track on Sgt. Pepper's that I'm not... Really I don't like... I'm really uh, sick and tired of the, of the Beatles, and I'm going to be sick of them for, I think, a well, few more years. Well, any band, if you listen to them a lot, you get sick of them. Yeah. Well, it's not very often you have, like, multiple xylophone players on one record. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, man, let's put a didgeridoo on this. Hey, man, let's put six of them on there. <laughs> All right! <laughs> we'll all play each one. <laughs> you, ever look, you ever look at the credits, the, music, the, the instrument credits on a white album? No. It's retarded. Is it? Yeah, they're all playing an absurd amount of instruments. Oh. Ringo is playing like fucking 50 instruments. Oh my gosh, dude, I saw a picture of Ringo, and it was, uh, they were doing, uh, shooting for a hard day's night, and it's a picture of Ringo from behind, like, the side of the drum kit. Yeah. He's sitting on, like, three phone books, and, like, has, like, five blocks of wood under his feet to make him <laughs> look like he's not a midget. Really? Yeah. How tall is Ringo? I think he might have been 3'8". <laughs> on a good day. <laughs>